This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games Lesson 21 using the Game Design Process Part 20. So we've been building this platformer. Oh, go, 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 go. Get some points. Um, obviously. And I can land on these platforms, which is why, well, it's a platformer. If yours isn't like this, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. We're going to start customizing this. The first thing I want to do is change up the animation for sure. And then I'm going to go from there. I can change the background when my score hits the 10. Um, but let's start with changing up the animation real quick. Improve your game. Improve your game by adding in two or more of the features you saw in the last two examples. You can use the list below to help you. Choose a new animation, play a platform, and items. That's what I'm going to do first. Real quick, if you don't have all of this, go back through the lessons. I have tutorials on every part. I'm going to scroll through it, but you need to go back through and make it your own. Make sure you do each part of the lesson. Here's my code, though. Background 3. These are all the functions. These are my if statements where I'm making things loop, obviously. So it is a lot of code, but we put it together slowly. And yours might be a bit different, which is great. You can make it your own somewhat. All right, I know what animations I want to change this to. I've been dying to use the garden gnome. Yes, the garden gnome. I even think, is it five, maybe six? Hello, garden gnome. And then for a platform, I also know what I want. Uh, for a garden gnome, well, he wants to be near a garden. So that should be grass, perfect. And garden gnomes are definitely 100% collecting. What if I can find it? There's some of the food. Is that all the food? Coins. I really wanted. Do they not have a taco? Garden gnomes love a uh, taco. Grr. I guess I could do apples. Okay, we're going to actually do apples. I do kind of like that. They're in the garden. They love apples. All right. So first I need to, I want a new animation for both sides. So I'm going to duplicate. And then I'm just going to say flip. Pa -da. And then I'm actually going to have an apple. Okay. But I am also, well, obviously. But I'm. Also going to have a orange. We'll do an orange for an animation. And then I want something that is bad, right? That you're going to lose points for giving. Hmm. Ooh, a beat. I don't love beats. Uh, what is, is this crab soda? You're going to lose points for getting that disgusting soda. That, what, crab soda? What? All right, so there is that. And then let's go to, I'm going to actually to be lazy about this. So I don't have to go through my code and change the variable names everywhere. Oh, I would only have to change that animation. But regardless, I'm going to delete platform. Yes, I'm sure. And I'm going to name my grass, grass platform. Okay. And then I don't have to really change anything in my code. My star isn't going to be that. This is going to be my stars. We'll get to that. All right. So, and I don't need alien. Goodbye, alien. Yep, I'm sure. All right, and then goodbye, star. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so now, whoa, that was scary. Now I need to change up the variables at the top. I need, uh, my platform can stay as platform, because remember I changed that over. And so those will work. Ooh, I can have the two platforms be different. Ooh, do I want to do that? I'm making mine real fancy now. Mm. 
Why not? Boom. Okay. I'm going to have two different platforms. Don't be jealous. Platform 2, this animation is going to be. Okay. Now we, I don't want to use a star. I'm going to use a red apple and an orange. Okay. Right. And then just for speed, I'm going to leave star 2 because I don't want to have to find everywhere in my program I use star 2. Okay. Now player, I'm going to have be gnome now. All right. And then I'm going to go over to show text. And I'm going to right click that, copy it, and paste. Show box. Soda. 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 Set animation to soda. And I'm going to set its velocity to 2. I'm not sure the size of any of these. Let's see if it runs right now. Yeah, so all of these are huge, right? So we're definitely going to need to work on the scaling. So let's do that then. Zoop. Sprites scale. Red apple. So star, because I didn't change the variable name. 0 0.5. Remember, 0 0.5 would be 50%. That's a bit better. Okay. So 0 0.2 maybe? Star 2 scale. And then... Oop, that's not scale. So to scale 0 0.2, which is like 20%. Let's see. Okay, we're getting better now. I need my platform scale to be different. Um, 0 0.4 maybe. And... which is like 40%. So this is already looking better. Probably need those a bit bigger. That I'm liking. I think these items need to be even smaller. That's good. Those might be too small, but I'm actually kind of liking that size. Now let's change my player. So 0 0.5 would be 50%. Oop, I think that's too small. It's a bit better. And hopefully, and our animation is just randomly changing right now, which we need to not have it do. Okay. Set that. So I don't want our animation to randomly change. I forgot about that. I want to duplicate this. And then I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to delete that. And so this is going to be gnome left, and this is going to be gnome right. Okay. And so when our player starts off, we can set it to gnome, ooh, nope, not platform, gnome right. And then I'm going to go down to our if statement for a player. Right, so loop, nope, loop, nope, player fall, nope, control player. Key down left. So if left is pressed, I want to do 
set animation player left and then I want to do a set animation for player and then gnome right for right let's double check if that's going now Okay, cool. So now I am going to have the orange be worth more points. But to do that, I want to make it worth it. So the I think star twos are orange. So this velocity is going to be five, maybe. And then our orange is going to be worth two. Uh, collect items if touching star. Star was our orange. I was lazy and didn't change it. So that's going to be worth two. I'm going to go to show text because I actually want to copy this code. Right click copy because I want to add the soda to it. Paste. And the soda was going to be bad. So if player touching soda, let's take away two. Okay. Show blocks. And that should now, if player touching soda, all of that needs to be soda because I made that soda variable. Okay, let's see. Ah, where did I go? Oh, I got a point. Jump. Where's their soda? Oh, so soda doesn't loop yet. Alrighty, so we gotta add that to the loop. So that's the collect items, player control. Here's our loop items. Got it. So we wanna copy this as well. Copy. I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna right click paste. Okay. Now, oh, you see my score drop? Watch, it's going to go negative. Oh, not negative because I got the orange. That orange needs to be smaller, I think. Zero, awesome. I'm going to make the orange smaller. I think it's too easy right now. Um, Because the orange is worth two, and my orange was named star two, so point. Maybe 0 0.05. Let's see how big that is. Oh, yeah, that orange is tiny. All right. Let's see what else they got. Add a variable to keep track of how many lives. That could be cool. Um, and for that, you would just want to detect if the player falls below the bottom, right? Below 415 or something. Make your player's animation change. We did that. Change the player to only jump when it is on a platform. Ooh, that could be hard. Out of background, we have that. Make your items interact with the player in some way. Oh. So, um, you should definitely try adding some of this stuff. I might try doing it too. I'm liking where I am at right now. Um, so, I am going to leave it as is. You should make awesome backgrounds and uh, awesome backgrounds, awesome games, and post them because. It lets you share your game. I think my background's going to change. Boom. It lets you share your game. So you should do that. You should definitely comment below with your game. I want to check them out. And yeah, I'm excited to see. Uh, ooh, I am so not good at this. Um, to check out other people's games. Awesome. Let's keep going.